Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my favorite nude lip products. I am a huge nude lip kind of girl. You guys already know that if you've been watching me for a while. So it is no surprise that I have very strong opinions about my favorite nude lip products. So in front of me I have my favorite liners, lipsticks, balms, powders, and glosses. So I'm gonna go through all of the categories and let you guys know my absolute favorites. So if you're interested in that, keep watching, and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. I do just wanna say before I hop into this that although a nude look product might look one way on me, it will likely look a different way on you. It is definitely dependent on your skin tone, also your undertones, if you're neutral, cool toned, warm toned, your hair color, your eye color, all of that plays into how products look on you, which I think is the most frustrating part is you see somebody who has a color on their lips and you think it's so pretty and then you try it on and it looks terrible. That's just how it goes. So you have to play around and figure out what works for you. Just for reference, I do have very neutral undertones. So if you also have un the same neutral undertones, then you may be able to use the same products on you as they look on me. So. Keep that in mind when you are listening to this. I have noticed for the most part, if I'm getting a nude, I want it to be more of a peachy nude than like a red nude because, or even a brown nude because the peachy nudes look better on my skin tones. So the majority of these products kind of fall into that category. For lip liners, I have two lip liners. The one that I have on today, which is the Buxom Plump Line Lip Liner in the shade Stealth. I have talked about this lip liner a ton of times. I love it. Um, it is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm just gonna swatch both of them. The other one is the Marc Jacobs. This is the shade Nudist, and I think both of these are absolutely gorgeous. They are both more peachy nudes. So this one is the Buxom. The top one's the Buxom, and then this one is the Marc Jacobs. And I think both of them are gorgeous. They both stay on all day. The Marc Jacobs is a much thinner lip liner. So generally, if I'm not filling in my entire lip with my lip liner, I'll use the Marc Jacobs. But if I want to fill in my whole lip, I'll use the uh, Buxom one, just because it's a bit thicker. It's more like a crayon than a pencil. So these are my two favorite nude lips. And like I said, I do have the plump line in stealth on my lips right now. And then I have three lipsticks to share. The first one is from Bare Minerals. This is from their Gen Nude line and it's in the shade Heaven. So this is a pretty typical lipstick formula. It's very pigmented and it's a satin finish. So it's really, really comfortable to wear. The next one is from Dose of Colors. This is the Katie and Desi collab that they did, and this is in the shade Hey Girl. And this one is a matte finish. And then the third one is from Origins. This is the Blooming Bold in Sweeter Than Honey. And this is another satin finish. So these are the three. This top one is the Bare Minerals. This one is the Dose of Colors Hey Girl, and this one is the Sweeter Than Honey from Origins. This last one is obviously the most like typical nude, but these ones are both also pretty neutral. I have two balms to share. One of them is from Flesh. This is in the shade Lick. This is the only product from Flesh that I've actually continued to use. I tried out a bunch of their products. I did a full video on them, and I just... I don't know, I never reach, some of the products I really liked, but I still just don't reach for them. But this lip gloss, or like lip balm in the shade Lick is a really good one. And then also the Origins Blooming Sheer in the shade Honey Blush. So this one is the Flesh in Lick, and this is the Origins in Honey Blush. Both of them are pretty sheer. Neither of them are gonna leave your lips completely opaque, but I kind of think that's the point. I like both of these. They're so good to just throw in your purse and go. They were actually both in my purse. I had to go get them out to film this video because I just love both of them so much. And they both feel really nourishing and they're not something that, they're not gonna dry out your lips. They're not gonna make your lips feel cracky or gross. They're just amazing lip balms. I have two shades in the Buxom Pillow Pout Powder Lips. I have Cuddle Me and Soft Whisper. This one is Soft Whisper. These are powders. They're an interesting formula. They have the powder in the bottom of the cap, and then they just have this sponge applicator at the top. So this one is Soft Whisper, and then this one is in Cuddle Me. This one's a little bit more pink than Soft Whisper is. 
So this top one is Soft Whisper, and then this bottom one is Cuddle Me. But these are a really great formula too because they are matte. So once you put them on, they're not going to continue to transfer all day. You can kind of just put it on and forget about it. And it's supposed to give you that like lived in look. It's not supposed to be a perfect application. So because they are a nude formula, I do like this because I don't have to be precise or worry about being precise. And since it's a more dry formula, since it's a powder, it doesn't feel like it's slipping all over my face. So I do really like these and I actually had... Um, soft whisper in my purse. Okay, last up, let's talk about lip glosses. I have two of them to share with you. I actually have full sizes of both of these and both of them, I cannot figure out where I put them. So I'm just gonna share my little sizes of them. So I have the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Gloss in the shade Sugar. This is such a good formula. It smells like cupcakes. It is so good. And this is not sticky. It leaves your lips feeling nice and slick and it's really glossy. It's not gonna be like glittery or shimmery it's just a straight gloss and then the same thing with this one is the buxom full-on lip cream in the shade blushing margarita i cannot tell you how many people have told me that this has become their go-to gloss because of me i just rave about it all the time it's so good and these are really really similar so the top one is the bare minerals and sugar and the bottom one is the buxom in blushing margarita but as you can see, both of them are very glossy. Neither of them is shimmery or glittery. They are just regular old glosses the way that I like. So actually today I'm wearing blushing margarita on my lips. I do want to give one honorable mention to this gloss from Becca. It's the Becca Chrissy Teigen collab and this is in the shade Beach Bum. I love this gloss. It's a much more opaque gloss. Like these ones you can put over a lipstick and it will kind of take on the color of, lip, of the lipstick, although it does still have its own color. But this one in Beach Bum is pretty opaque. So this one is going to have more of a color of its own. Alrighty guys, I hope that that was helpful for you and maybe it gave you some ideas if you also have a similar skin tone and undertones as I have. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite nude lip product is. If I haven't tried it, maybe I need to. Um, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos and I will see you guys in my next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.